Look at the markets. I'll call it a rally, and it is. And look at Nike. That's a rally. $80 per share, all-time high. Their sales in North America going up. Nice rebound there. Look at that. That's a huge company, and the stock is up 11%. Bring in market watcher David Barnes. David, I say that, that Nike, those Nike results are an economic indicator for the whole economy. Am I right? Um, I believe in all the same things you do about the economy, about the health of the economy, about all the good things going on. I'm not sure, Stuart, that I d agree that the Nike results are a direct indicator of that. I'm sure there's correlation and overlap. And you know how much I hate disagreeing with you, my friend. But I think <laughs> that with individual company results, we have to be careful if, hypothetically, under Armour were to come out with a negative quarter, would that mean the economy is doing poorly? I mean, the sure. fact of the matter is these companies do compete with each other, and Nike had been underperforming for some time, and now all of a sudden they've really got things back on track, and that's evident in the stock price today. See, I, was just I think that the economy, though, can't really be viewed through the lens of one company. Okay, but it is a very big company. I mean, it is the sure. premier sporting apparel company in the world, and certainly in the United States. That's why I'm keying off that one company. Okay, you give me the big picture. And also globally, Stuart, it's a, it's a good indication in terms of emerging markets, Asian markets. Sure. Their footprint's huge. I agree with that. And I don't take it as a negative by any means. I'm just saying I really think it says more about Nike than anything else. Okay, now give me the big picture. Am I on track by saying that we really have, if I use the expression a booming economy, maybe I'm going too far, but we're aggressively growing. I think we hit 4%. What say you? Yeah, I do believe the second quarter print will be, uh, if not at 4% or higher, just barely below it. And, and I think the economy is booming. And I think it's booming for a reason. It is not happenstance. It is deregulation. It is business investment. It is the results of corporate tax reform. The only people that could try to pour water on how the economy is doing are the same people that a few months ago were uh, doing an apology tour for MS-13 and Hamas. So this, this is just a wonderful economy, and the administration deserves a lot of that credit. And I think once you get through some of the trade and tariff things that continue to kind of hold us back a little, I think you're going to see another leg to this. An apology tour for MS-13 and Hamas. You slipped that one right in there, David. That was good. I did. I, I, it's a good thing for you. I wasn't on the last segment. I wanted to join with you and talk about how the, uh, the Maxine Waters should be Trump's campaign chairman. She's doing more to help him than anybody in the country. <laughs> You're good, David. That's very, very good. Well good. done, son. <laughs> David Barnson, everyone. We like him. Come back soon, David, okay? Thanks very much. Will do. Have Thanks. I got a big hour for you this